You mentioned the death toll. And here in the U.S., President Biden was was asked earlier about the growing death toll. The numbers are coming from the Gaza Ministry of Health. Hamas runs Gaza. But, but what do you make of that? How accurate do you believe the numbers are from what you've seen? I think... President Biden is basically telling the Israelis that they haven't killed enough Palestinians yet and that there's more room for more slaughter. If I mean, this is the, the catastrophe here is that the, the foreign press are prevented by the Israelis from coming in to seeing the bodies that are piled up in the morgues, to seeing the daily uh, mass graves that are being now dug uh, just to look after all of the patient, all of the dead that that uh, that are being uh, taken out from underneath the rubble. Uh, the, when I drove over a week ago from northern Gaza to uh, uh, Shifa Hospital to, to escort a patient, every time you drove past a building that had been attacked and demolished, the stench of dead and decaying bodies, you can smell it in the ambulance as you drove by. The, the, you know, it's estimated around 1,500 are still under the rubble, in addition to the around 6,000 who are killed, 17,000. You know, I mean, what, what President Biden has just described, I've just finished operating on a 13-year-old boy. He's the same age as my youngest child. And he has full thickness burns in his face, both upper and lower limbs. His mother is also very severely burnt in over 50% of her body. You know, trying to explain that not enough of that child. There are more of Anas, the boy. There needs to be more of him uh, 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 injured and suffering for this war to be stopped. I, I'm trying to figure out what is the quota for Palestinian blood that the American administration wants for it to force the Israelis into a ceasefire. 